If your Meta Quest 3 VR headset is experiencing performance issues while playing PC VR games due to your aging computer setup or because you enjoy playing VR games that aren't fully optimized yet, then you need to watch this video. I will demonstrate how to maximize the performance of your current setup for a smoother gameplay experience and at the end I will share a tool that can significantly boost your FPS but make sure to watch everything to have the best possible outcome. Let's dive in. So before we begin we need to measure the frames per second our current setup is delivering. Without this information we won't know if changing certain settings will actually improve our performance. So to do this we'll utilize the SteamVR performance graph. You can access it by clicking the hamburger menu in the SteamVR floating window and then navigating to display performance graph. Alternatively in your headset go to VR settings within your SteamVR environment, select developer and enable show GPU performance graph in headset. The graph illustrates the time it takes to render a frame on your display in milliseconds. If this time is less than or equal to 11.1 milliseconds, your display should maintain at least 90 frames per second, ensuring smooth gameplay. However, if the rendering time exceeds 11.1 milliseconds, your frames will drop below 90 FPS, leading to less smooth gameplay. With all of that out of the way, we can start the actual optimization process. First, let's check for any important Windows updates. Navigate to your start menu, click on the settings cog, and then select Windows update. Click on check for updates and proceed to update your Windows as necessary. Let's not overlook our GPU drivers. I'm currently using a Gigabyte RTX 3080 GPU and Nvidia regularly updates drivers through their GeForce Experience panel. To access the GeForce Experience panel, right click on the Nvidia icon in the lower right corner of your screen and select GeForce Experience. Then go to the Drivers tab and click on Check for Updates. Restart your computer even if it's not prompting you to do so, this action will terminate any lingering processes and provide a fresh start for optimal performance as it will clear RAM and the processor cache. We can optimize our gameplay performance by adjusting settings in the NVIDIA control panel. The same things will apply to AMD in their own panel. Right click on your desktop and select NVIDIA control panel on Windows 11. Select show more options first. Then copy the settings you see on the screen by pausing the video. The two most crucial settings are power management mode, set this to prefer maximum performance and texture filtering quality set to high performance. Next let's ensure our Windows power plan isn't conserving unnecessary resources by following these steps. Go to the control panel, select hardware and sound, choose power options and select the high performance option. And that is all. Now during gameplay, remember to shut off unnecessary apps and programs to free up resources for the game. Also ensure that the game window is in focus as games may run at lower FPS when they are not the selected window. It's important to note that mirroring the screen you see in your headset onto your monitor should be avoided whenever possible. This practice unnecessarily consumes resources which can result in slower game performance. Unless you're streaming or recording, it's advisable to render the image solely on your MetaQuest headset instead of both headset and the monitor. For recording, I recommend directly recording on your MetaQuest headset itself as this won't interfere with PC resources. If you have the option to enable DLSS in-game, I highly recommend doing so. DLSS or Deep Learning Super Sampling utilizes machine learning to analyze in-game frames and construct new ones, either at higher resolution or in addition to existing frames. It employs super sampling to sample a frame at a low resolution and then uses that sample to generate a higher resolution frame. Additionally, it can generate additional frames from frame samples, thereby increasing the frame rate. Alternatively, if you have an AMD GPU, you can enable FSR, which stands for Fidelity FX Super Resolution. FSR renders the game at a lower resolution and upscales it back to the native resolution using a spatial upscaler, while also applying a sharpening pass. If your PC still struggles with VR gameplay, consider upgrading your setup if you've got the money. Alternatively, adjust the in-game settings to a lower graphical fidelity for a satisfactory boost in FPS. You can also modify the resolution of your headset in the MetaQuest Link app by navigating to Devices, selecting your device and choosing the Graphics Preferences option to adjust the refresh rate and render resolution to a level your PC can handle. 
Your Steam VR dashboard should automatically reflect the resolution set in the MetaQuest Link dashboard after you've restarted your headset. If not, you can manually change the resolution in the Steam VR dashboard by going to the Video tab, selecting the custom option for Render Resolution and adjusting it from there. If this is helping you, please hit the like button for me. And as promised, I'll share a tool called VR Mod App that can significantly boost your FPS in-game by applying one of the performance multipliers discussed earlier. The tool is available for free. Download from the link in the description. To install it, scroll down to the latest installer section on the GitHub page and download the OpenVR FSR app, your version, Windows64.x. Run the setup and open the tool. What makes this tool so special is the ease of use. Click on the Open VR button and select any game detected by the tool that supports VR. Then click on FSR Install Plugin. And that's it. Essentially, this tool downscales the game's resolution according to the settings you provide and using an image scaling algorithm tailored for AMD or Nvidia. It downscales the game's render resolution and then upscales it back to its native resolution. This should result in significantly improved FPS with minimal quality loss. You can hover over the little eye symbols to see what each option does. Now's the time to check if you've benefited from these tips and determine the increase in frames you have achieved. Remember, it's essential to adjust the settings until you reach your desired result, so don't give up after your first attempt. Keep experimenting until you find the optimal configuration for your headset. By the way, subscribe and like and head over to this video to enjoy 10 free games on your MetaQuest straight away.